What's up? All right, so Seth Williams here to talk to you about health and why you probably need to be your own doctor. We're on number five. When it's the number one cause of bankruptcy, yeah, health care. The current medical model is made to pull every dime from you before you die. It could be argued that they only treat symptoms of disease without curing you, so each medication will keep you on it as long as possible to make as much money as they can for their stockholders. That could be a really logical argument, where if they were to provide a cure, then there would be no market left for your problem. They would have no way to make money from you, right? See, each drug is backed by a company that makes it. If they made that drug to heal you, then you wouldn't need the drug anymore. You would be healed. Well, they can't do that. So what do they do? They make drugs to cover up symptoms so that you stay on the drug until they pulled as much money from the individual as they can to make the stockholder happy. That's why. You simply can't trust the medical profession at all. That's all they do is deal drugs. They don't get paid for you to be healthy. They get paid when you buy their product. Their product is dope. So drugs are made to, number one, keep you on them, and number two, cause other problems so you come back to get more drugs. That's the hard truth. They cover up the symptoms. They never cure the problem, they never fix the problem so that you stay on dope, so that you spend money with them, so that you keep buying, so that you stay sick, so that they make money. This is why I can't trust the current medical profession. I mean, it's just, it's a joke. It's all a freaking joke. And you still trust them. You got them like, oh, what the do I need? Give me another drug. Give me more drugs. And then before long, you're freaking dope at it. You ever hear somebody tell you, say, well, I got to work for my insurance? They're telling you they have to work for their drugs. They're addicted to dope. That's the truth. Next, we'll do numero six.